Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Brennan Bias from Checkit.com and welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. Now, for the past couple of weeks, I've had some pretty intense and really lengthy and involving tutorials. So, I figured this week we would kind of dumb things down and keep things pretty simple. So, today what we're doing is we're going to take an ordinary photo. In this case, it's just uh, two of my best friends, Brad Grigg and Jordan Rosso, just kind of standing outside. And we're going to make it look like they're standing out in a slight drizzle of rain. And this effect is extremely simple to do, so even if you're brand new to Photoshop, you should be able to follow along just fine, assuming that you follow the, you know, the steps that I give you, you know, step by step and all that. So let's, uh, let's delete all of these here adjustment layers and such and get right into the tutorial. So uh, once you've got your picture loaded up, if you want to use this one, I'll load the, uh, the link in the description for you to download it. Uh, let's start off by adding a new layer and let's call this rain. Voila. And before we get into uh, any of the editing and stuff, make sure you have your foreground and background colors set to the default black and white by hitting the letter D if they're not black and white already. And let's fill in uh, the rain layer with black by hitting Alt Backspace or Option Delete if you happen to be on a Mac. And let's go to Filter and we'll do a render and we'll use uh, fibers right here. And you can use whatever settings you want for the fibers, but I like to use a variance of 25 and a strength of 30. And with that, we'll hit OK. And so you'll notice that the fibers on this picture look really small. And that's only because this image is incredibly large. It's 5184 by 3456. So if you're working on a smaller photo, you might want to consider just making a separate document for, um, for the rain and then just importing it onto your picture later on, okay? So if you're working with the smaller photo, just make a new document for the rain and all that. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and uh, add a little bit of motion blur to this. So let's go to filter, let's go to blur, and we'll do a motion blur. And we'll set the angle to 90 degrees with a distance of 50 pixels and hit OK. And so now let's go to our Adjustments panel. And if you don't have that, just go to Window Adjustments. And let's add a Levels Adjustment layer. And we need to make this into a clipping mask on top of the rain. And to do that, you'll just click this little icon right here, which looks like a box with a downwards pointing arrow. And if you're in like CS4 or earlier, it'll look more like a more like an oval with half of it being black, if I remember right. So just give that icon a click and we'll turn it into a clipping mask so that way it only applies to the rain layer, okay? So uh, for this levels adjustment layer, we're, uh, all we're gonna do is bring in the black slider until it's at the very beginning of this curve right here, maybe a little further in depending on your taste. And let's also move the midtone slider more towards the edge of it, uh, right around over here. And so that way you're getting rid of a majority of the rain uh, effect that you see going on over here. So now let's go ahead and select the rain layer and we'll set the blend mode to screen. And let's change the opacity down to about 65% for the time being. You can change that on later if you so choose, completely up to you. And let's bring up the transform tool on the rain layer by hitting Control T or Command T if you're on a Mac. And I'm just going to zoom out a little bit using my scroll wheel, which is an option that I enabled in my general preferences. And what you're going to do is click and drag outside of the bounding box until it looks like the rain is at a good angle for and all the intensity of the rainfall that you're going for. And since I'm just going for a slight drizzle, I'll just keep it at around 10 degrees or so. And you'll notice that since we turned it, we lost a little bit of the rain on the edges. So to make up for that, I'm just going to click on uh, the corner out here while holding Alt and Shift. And then we'll just click and drag that outwards until it uh, covers up the entire edge right there. And by the way, if you're on a Mac, when you're clicking and dragging, use Option and Shift rather than Alt and Shift. And it'll scale up from the center like so. So once you've got that scaled to fit the size of your, uh, of your image, just hit the little check mark up top to commit those little transformations. And then we'll hit Control-0 or Command-0 to go back to uh, document size right here. 
So in my personal opinion, uh, right now the rain is a little too uniform. I need to have a little more randomness applied to it. So what I'm going to do is apply a layer mask by clicking this little box with a little hole in it on the bottom uh, area of the layers panel right there. And let's go add a filter render and we'll use clouds. And that will just kind of uh, randomize, r randomize, randomize the intensity of the rain all over the place. And uh, if you want to, you can add a little bit of coloring to the rain as well. So to do that, uh, let's go uh, select the levels adjustment layer. And then above that, we'll add a hue slash saturation adjustment layer. And once again, click that box to turn it into a, uh, a clipping mask so that it only applies to the rain layer. And for the hue and saturation, let's check mark the colorize. We'll change the saturation to about 15, and we'll move the hue all the way over till it's uh, somewhere between the Cheyenne and the blue. So I have it around 212, I guess. Looks okay. Maybe I'll lighten it up a little bit more. Uh, something around there. Yeah, that's looking pretty good to me. And so let's see, right now we're looking pretty good in terms of how the rain is turning out. Let's start adding to the look of the photo itself by making it look a little more gloomy. So to do that, let's select our background layer and let's go back to our adjustment panel over here and let's add a curves adjustment layer. So uh, all we're gonna do is click and drag from the middle of the curves down and to the right until it looks like it's, uh, I don't know, just, just a shade darker. If you're working on a brighter image, you might want to tone that down even more. But I'm just gonna do it just a little bit for the time being. And so now I wanna desaturate the overall image and maybe add a little bit of contrast to it to kind of add to the gloomy feel. So let's go back to the background layer Let's go back to the adjustments and let's add a black and white adjustment layer. And for this, let's set the blend mode of that to soft lights and we'll change the opacity to about 60%. And that will just kind of, uh, it'll darken the image, but also keep some of those highlights that you see like on the, the shoulders and like the back of the neck and just things of that sort. So it darkens it, but keeps some of the, the lighter areas there. And so next what we'll do is go back to the adjustments. Let's add another black and white adjustment layer, but this time we'll just keep the blend mode at normal and change the opacity down to about 40%. And what that's gonna do is take out some of those intense colors that we see in the picture there. And once again, that just adds to the overall gloominess of the picture there. So now that that's all set and good, let's go back to the rain and let's actually tone that down to maybe, uh, maybe 30%. So one thing that you can do, if you so choose, is uh, with the, the layer mask selected, is bring up the levels by hitting Control L or Command L if you're on a Mac, and you can tweak the, uh, the clouds on the adjustment layer so that way um, you're just, uh, so that way you're just getting rid of more chunks of the, the rain while still keeping some of the, uh, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. You're, the, the goal is to, to tweak with the levels of the clouds, so that way you can just um, just mess with how much rain is in the, the different areas of the picture. But I'm not really getting a good effect here, so I'm just going to click Cancel and not really worry about it. Although, I guess what I could do is just bring the midtones over to the right. There we go. If we just bring over the midtones, that way we can just... Uh, make some of the rain a little bit more see-through there. Much better. Okay, so that's actually about all there is to it. If you want to add more to the overall photo, like maybe add in like a vignette or something like that, you can. But that's about all there is to this effect here. So if you learned something new, that would be great if you, uh, you know, showed your appreciation by giving this video a like or by sharing it with a friend that might need it or something of the sort. And if you have any suggestions for myself or someone else that, uh, that might need your suggestion, just leave it in the comments section below. And once again, if you need the picture to work with yourself, I'll put the link to that in the description if you would like. And uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys learned something new once again. And I will see you guys next Tuesday.